infertility treatment options according to diagnosis what is meant by infertility and what are the different options for the diagnosis and also the treatment the first one is ovulation is the diagnosis and the treatment for ovulation is cc cc plus and metformin aromatase inhibitors these are all the inhibitors which will be inhibiting the female reproductive system to commence the process of ovulation what is ovulation the release of egg the release of egg from the ovary okay this is called as ovulation when the egg will be released from the ovary it will be traveling through the fallopian tubule of the female reproductive system and there it will be lodged then after during the process of fertilization what will happen the male gamete that is the sperm enters through the vagina of the female and hence it will go and fertilize that egg which is available in the fundus region of the fallopian tubule so the treatments are the aromatase inhibitors and gonadotropin based therapies these are all the hormonal based uh, treatments and therapies and dopamine agnotis and ivf treatments are also there for infertility next is the tubal diseases the tubal diseases are tubal reconstruction what are tubal diseases these are nothing but the diseases which are associated with the fallopian tubule next is the endometriosis endometriosis is the diagnosis and the treatment is laparoscopic surgery what is laparoscopic surgery without inserting without inserting or cutting the skin of the body human body so through the race the laparoscopic surgery will be done and surgical ablation cc plus iu uh, iui gonadotropin based therapy and ivf these are all the different types of treatments which are being given next is the for the endometriosis what is endometriosis the endometrium is the lining of the uterus there are three layers for the uterus the linings of the uterus are endometrium hyometrium and perimetrium so if any disease will come to the endometriosis or the endometriosis is not able to uh, sustain its relationship with the hormonal secretions of the pituitary then also the infertility problems will come because the anterior gland of the pituitary will release very important hormones both in the male and also in the female reproductive system in the males the anterior part of the pituitary will secrete the testosterone and also powerful luteinizing hormone okay this luteinizing hormone will be initiating this particular male systems to secrete the testosterone and also the ladic and the sertoli cells will synthesize the or they uh, form the sperms so the formation of sperms which is called as a spermatogenesis uh, is influenced by the secretions of the pituitary gland in case of male when in the case of female how it will be in the case of female the anterior gland of the pituitary will be releasing the very important hormones called follicle stimulating hormone which is responsible for the follicles of the female reproductive system which are uh, which are helping or aiding in the process of fertilization ovulation and implantation all these processes and the very important hormone called as the progesterone is also released from the anterior gland of the pituitary so this progesterone hormone will maintain the pregnancy okay estrogen hormones are responsible for the different developmental stages during the gestation period prolactin hormone is responsible for the milk secretion during the process of lactation so the, uh, these are all the different various types of uh, diagnosis for infertility 
and the unexplained infertility uh, goes again the treatments unexplained because they will be healthy but we don't know what is the problem they are not conceiving and they are not getting the children so for that the treatments are gonadotropin based therapies and also ivfs okay that is in in vitro fertilization